Today we're going to be flashing our BIOS so that we can customize our splash screen. The splash screen is the first screen that pops up when you turn on your computer. Uh, this isn't something that needs to be done, it's something that's just kind of fun. Uh, fair warning though, flashing your BIOS can be dangerous. Uh, if something goes wrong, if the power goes out or you lose uh, uh, your computer freezes, uh, you can you could be in trouble if your BIOS becomes corrupt. So I wouldn't do this on your girlfriend's computer or your wife's computer, uh, only if it's a computer of your own. Um, like I said, it's just something fun, not something necessary. The only time you ever really need to update your BIOS is if something's not working right. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a screen uh, it, just with the simple paint program comes with Microsoft Windows and um, the default screen size is 640 by 480 pixels and I've already uh, um, resized this to those exact dimensions and uh, let's see it's best to uh, to start out with the background that has some color perhaps you have a picture or something you want to put up there one thing you want to remember is uh, it's only 256 colors, so the, it's not going to come out looking real nice. So it's best to use something simple or a simple picture that doesn't have a ton of colors. Otherwise, it's going to be a kind of pixelated looking. And uh, I'm just going to put some simple text on here. Let's see. And uh, I'm going to save this as a JPEG onto my desktop. Now we're gonna. Um, if you don't have the disc that came with your uh, uh, with your motherboard, then uh, you might have to go to the ASUS website, like I did. The CD that came with my motherboard uh, didn't have support for Windows 7 64-bit. At least it didn't work, so I had to go online to download it from the ASUS website. Let's go to products, motherboards, and my computer, my motherboard is the AMD AM3, the 785G, 710 and this is my board here the M4A 785TD M Evo and I click on it go to download Windows 7 64 bit choose your own operating system Go to Utilities, and here it is here, the ASUS update, install program for Windows. Save this on my desktop.
And that's all I need from them. <coughs> Actually, I've already installed this program and just went through the steps. So we'll move on to updating, flash, uh, flashing the BIOS. So let's go to ASUS and programs, ASUS update. Here we go, ASUS update. Okay, so we're gonna, you go to options here first. And I'm gonna check this box here. It should be unchecked. Check this box says launch my logo application and replace system boot logo before flashing BIOS and click next. Brings us back to the original screen. And I'm going to update, uh, I'm going to save my current BIOS to a file. You can download the newest BIOS if you like. I have the newest, so I'm going to keep that one. Save it on the desktop. Okay, so now we're going to update the BIOS from file. Click Next. Here it is, BIOS. I had to change my file types uh, to all files. Now it's asking me to select an image file to be the BIOS logo. That's on my desktop. There it is. Click next. And as you see here, the maximum support display mode is 640 by 480 pixels and 256 color mode. And uh, we set that when we did the image and paint. So I'm going to click next. And in here you'll see a message, BIOS image format is correct. You can press flash button to update BIOS ROM. If, uh, if it's an incorrect file it should say in here that it is incorrect or that it's an older version. In which case you'd have to flash it in the BIOS. So I'm going to click on flash. Okay, system needs a reboot. For changes to take effect, do I want to reboot? Yes. Okay, so we're restarting. Sorry about the uh, image quality. External camera is not that great. go there's our uh, customized splash I'm just going to change a few settings in here. Uh, change this back to RAID so that it recognizes, finds my operating system. That's it. We have now officially 
customized our splash screen. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope everything works out well for you. And if uh, you mess up your BIOS, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. So, good luck.